The self-funded Republican nominee Donald Trump dishing out $46.3 million on campaign spending. Millions less, though, than his former rivals, but far from the $1 billion roughly needed to run a general election. Will Trump accept outside funding going forward? It's most likely that I will because, you know, you're talking about a billion dollars or a billion and a half dollars. And, uh, well, you not, got it. I do have it. I, we'll have to do a cellar building, but, <laughs> you know. I, I think that probably um, I'm looking, I'm not looking for myself, I'm looking for the party, where the party, you know, is going to receive uh, a lot of money so the party can compete. Here now is Brad Blakeman, former George W. Bush senior advisor, and Sabrina Schaefer of the Independent Women's Forum. Thanks to both of you for joining sure. us. Brad, I, he made an important point at the end there. It's not just about fundraising for himself. S selling a building doesn't help the down-ballot candidates, right? Isn't that what this season is about? Sure. Uh, he's the top of the ticket, but he also has to worry about the people who are below him, the House members, the Senate members, governors, assemblymen, right down to mayors uh, and county workers. So Donald Trump has got to have a two-prong approach to fundraising. He's got to raise it himself for his own campaign, which means it can't come from him. It's got to come from other sources. And he's got to do it for the party. He's got to hit the ground and personally appear. He's got to have surrogates appear for him. And believe me, He's got a lot of ground to make up because the Hillary machine has been around for decades and Donald Trump's just beginning. Yeah, Sabrina, I mean, how much of a deficit is that? I mean, you talk about that anybody else at this point in time would have already been out there raising money. He's made it one of the tent poles of his campaign that he's not going to go out and raise money. He could stew it himself. He doesn't need to be beholden to anyone. It's a double-edged sword for him. How far behind is he now? It is a little bit of a double-edged sword, but it's actually important that, you know, from an outsider's perspective, sort of just analyzing um, campaign tactics, it is important that he fundraises because it demonstrates legitimacy. It demonstrates widespread appeal. If you look at some recent elections of, of uh, candidates who were very you know, largely self-funded, someone like a Meg Whitman in 2010, she invested $140 million of her own money, but she wasn't able to sort of demonstrate that she was well-liked and well-received by the voters of California. Similarly, Linda McMahon in Connecticut, similar Problem. So for Donald Trump, who is already under you know a lot of scrutiny right now, it's important that he shows that he has support um, from a wide, okay. wide you know, swath of Brad, voters. Let me push back on that a little bit. He does have support from a wide swath of voters. He's the one who's ahead, who's on his way to the nomination, who's captured almost all the delegates so far to the point where the others have dropped out. So he does have support so far. Does he really need to demonstrate that by raising money as well? He does, and, and Sabrina is absolutely right. And I'll give you another example, Carly Fiorina. Uh, she put millions of dollars into, his, into her own campaign, and what did it but get? But they her? didn't have millions and millions and millions of votes, either of the women that you just mentioned. This, 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 this is true, mm -hmm. but here's the point. It's unfair for, to, for the American people to expect an individual to pay the freight for that's a, a for political point. campaign. That's and an interesting, interesting point. point. Too, wait, right? wait, wait, wait. I, I like that. That's very interesting. Brad, why is it unfair? Why is it unfair? If he wants to do it and he wants to sell a building, why would it be unfair to expect him to pay for a campaign? Because even though he's wealthy, that's not the way our system works. The system, and Sabrina's point is, is well taken. Not only do you have to show support at the ballot box, but you also have to show the support that people are willing to give something of value right. and an investment. This is an investment in the future of our country. And Donald Trump doesn't have to take large sums of money. Uh, there, are, there are candidates like Bernie Sanders, who's taking, mm -hmm. what, the average donation is $27 from millions of people. But he has to start now. And having the, having the ability to raise money and to garner votes is really what makes the best candidate. But Sabrina, that, Sabrina, hang on, isn't that old world thinking, though? Because what people like out there about Donald Trump is that he's not bought and paid for. He could do it himself. Right. And you bring up Bernie Sanders, which is also so true. He's saying, Wall Street's not giving me a fortune like Hillary Clinton, that giant money machine that's out there pushing forward. You know, that's not what I'm all about. He's like, you folks out there are giving me five and ten dollars. Does mm -hmm. the way that Donald Trump raises money make a difference? It absolutely does. He, his goal is to show that there's lots of people who are willing to invest in him and to, you know, that he's earning their votes in some way. Um, and I think it's important that he demonstrates that he's not just a wealthy person who's able to put himself in office, because that also runs counter to sort of this populist narrative out there. People want to feel like anybody can run for office. That's the American dream, not just the wealthy among us. And so I think it's important that he demonstrates that he is in some ways part of the, you know, one of the people. Yeah, I don't know. Very interesting debate, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate